Hey everyone, it's Math Monday, and for today's lesson, we are going to review fractions. It's been a long time since we've done fraction work, and I thought it would be nice to try it out this week. Just a reminder, fractions are a number that shows equal parts of a whole, or part of a set of objects. So for example, I have a whole circle, and half of my circle is blue one half is blue. Over here you can see I have my party hats. I have four party hats in my set, but three of them are orange. So three out of four, or three-fourths of my party hats, are orange. Let's review some other things about fractions. So I've got my fractions all set up and ready to go. You may recognize these from the fraction box at school. The best thing I like about fractions is you get to do a little pretending. And I'm going to pretend today that each of these fractions are families on a street. And we're gonna just call this Fraction Street just for the fun of it. Let me introduce you to all the neighbors. So I'm gonna take a walk down Fraction Street. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, hello! This fraction here is one whole circle. It's, a, it's one whole shape, as you can see. So this family is called the whole family. And I'm gonna keep taking my walk. Do, 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 do. Oh, hi! This family is the halves family. As you can see, it's still one whole circle. I can actually fit this right on top to show you. It's still one whole, but this family has one half and another half. It's broken into two parts. And we call this family the halves family. And if I keep walking along Fraction Street and I stop to say hello to this neighbor, you'll see here that there are one, two, three parts. It's still one whole circle, but this family is broken into three parts. And we call this family the thirds family. Da, 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 da. And the last, but not the last, but not the least fraction, is the fourths family. We have one, two, three, four parts. And just like all the other houses, it's still one whole circle, but it's broken into four parts. And we call that family the fourths family. Now, you'll notice that each family has a name and it's based on how many parts that it has. Let's have a little more fun with one family in particular. I'm gonna play around with the fourths family over here. Let me slide these away for a second. And I chose the fourths because I have four people in my family. There is myself and my husband and my son and my daughter. And let's just pretend for a moment that the four of us are home. And our last name is the fourths because there's, just like you have a last name, fractions have last names too. And there's a special word for the last name of a fraction. It's called the denominator. And the fancy way or funny way of remembering this is the de name of the family is called the denominator. And the name of this family is the fourths because there are four parts. I'm gonna put my fraction bar here. Now, there are four people in the fourths family. So the number of people in a family is called the numerator. And it has the word numer in it, numerator. And that will help me to remember that's the number of people in my family. So, let's make up a story, shall we? Uh, let's pretend that my son and my daughter are so bored of being in the house and it's a nice sunny day and they decide, hey, let's go outside and make a fort. Yeah, come on, bye. And they run outside. Oh my goodness. There's only two people left in the house, me and my husband. And we can no longer use four in our numerator because there are not four people in the house anymore. I'm gonna take this four away 
And in order to show how many people are in the family still, I'm going to put this two here. And the way I say this is two fourths. There are two people still in the fourths family that are in the house. The other two, eh, they're outside making a fort. Let's try this again with a different family. Let's try the thirds family. We've got one third, two thirds, three thirds. There's our family. The name of the family is the thirds family. That's like the last name, just like you have a last name. But everybody in your family, your first names are usually different. And just like this, uh, you're gonna have different names too. So let's take a look. The last name is the thirds. And there are one, two, three people in this family. But let's pretend one of the members is a cat. And the cat ran up a tree. Oh no, now I'm down a family member. There were three thirds, but one of them ran up a tree. Crazy cat. So now there's only two people left inside and I'm gonna switch my numerator because that's the number of people in the family at the moment. So we have two thirds left in the house. The other third, whew, he went up a tree. Crazy, crazy cat. And that, my friend, is our fraction review. Uh, stay tuned for the follow-up work, which will get you moving around your house and searching for your own fun fractions.